don't even know. I don't know what's going on, Matt's dude. out here. Fighting. We're 20 dude, seconds in. There's a master plan that Matt has that I just... I'm just along for the ride, dude. The storm's coming, I dude. basically just latched onto a dragon's wings, <laughs> and I'm just letting this thing ride, dude. I'm like Daenerys. You are Daenerys. You're storm I sure. found you as an egg, dude. I grew you into a monster giant. Mother of I'm dragons, I'm just on, on your back, just like, I don't know where he's taking me, <laughs> but I feel like we can conquer a kingdom. You can't trust dragons, dude. I trust dragons. Hell yeah, dude. That's why they you fear us. You speak fucking... I speak well, Matt. I'm getting, a hard, I'm getting a Harry Potter now. I speak McCusker. You do, dude. I, I know you how do that. speak McCusker, I dude. speak McCusker. My boy Spud was telling me that. I was like, so we're talking about you in New York, and I was like, yeah, well, it's like it sucks because like I would just come here and try to do an episode by myself, but no one would have any fucking idea what I'm saying. And he's like, yeah, you kind of got to be with you in person to understand what you're talking about, dude. He's yeah. like, Cause you kind of go off on a weird trails and shit. Well, I also I need my Wrangler. I also got up there and I'm I'm doing like I'm doing that show. It's called a fair one. It's on Compound mm-hmm. Media, but uh, it's. I f- this I've been doing this so long that I feel like this is what my co-host is like. Yeah. So like Tommy will say shit and I'll be like, "You're not gay, are you?" <laughs> like I'll say shit that I know you would be like, "Fuck no, dude!" Like I know, I'll be like, "What do you think about that?" Yeah. And I know there's a definite answer. Yeah. With Tommy, I'll be like, "What do you think about that?" I'll be like, "What? <laughs> what are you talking about?" I'll oh, be like, oh, my guess, man. All right, anyway, Fuck, man. That's hilarious. What? Yeah. What? What are you, th- what are you talking? Why about? Why would you say that? Uh, That's what. Uh, did I ever tell you about the time like? There was, like, someone close to our family. It was, like, someone our family knew that, like, a long time ago died in, like, a fiery car wreck. <laughs> like, fucking died, dude. And then, like, my, my mom was all upset. And, uh, you know, obviously. Yeah. So, my, like, we're all, my mom, like, it had just happened. I remember I was a little kid. And uh, my mom's, like, you know, she's, like, she brought it up. She's, like, I just feel so bad. And my dad's eating dinner. And he was, like, yeah, I talked to one of the cops. He said the car reached to, like, 1,400 degrees. It was so hot that the cops... Couldn't go up and they had to sit there and watch the guy like melt. And my mom just went like, oh, and ran upstairs. He was like, "Oh come on, man! I'm, I'm just saying this. this is what the cops told me." Fact. Just I was just, I remember being a little kid and being like, "Holy fuck, that's crazy!" Damn. Yeah, yeah the Custer side of my family in a car is it's a rough way to go. It's a horrible way to go. The Custer <laughs> side of my family just doesn't have like it's definitely slight. Everyone's a little bit autistic for sure. When, like I, I told you about that too when that one truck driver died. This truck, this one truck driver died. He used to drive a trash truck that everyone knew. We we're all on a construction site. Was like, I was with like a bunch of my uncles, and the guy was super short, and the dude fucking iced himself. Oh really? Yeah. So we're all sitting there. Gun? He hung himself, dude. He hit the fucking hang. And dude, we're all sitting there like, he damn, hung dude, 10? hung himself. The real short guy. Everyone used to call. Everyone used to like fuck with. Him. I forget they used to call him. But they used to like they're like a nickname. They used to make fun of him for. And uh, they're like, damn, dude. We all everyone was all quiet, and then someone was just like, what do you hang himself from a fucking doorknob? <laughs> it was just like. <laughs> Killed him and like, dude, this guy would pull up every day and they would make fun of him. Every day they'd make fun of him, and then one day, like, where's uh, where's you know who at? And like, oh, dude, he fucking hung himself, and everyone's like, oh, what he hang himself from a fucking doorknob? <laughs> it was just like, Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, my fucking dude, my mom's my grandfather on my mom's side, his uh, it would have been his sister in law died, like, he was like 70 at the time, his sister in law dies, we're all at the funeral, and like, as soon as you know, you like throw flowers in, yeah. He threw his flower in. He's like, all right, we're done. Let's go. It's over. <laughs> it's like, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Yeah, I've been fucking. Yeah, man. That's how people deal with it. That's how you roll, you just dude. Just don't give a fuck. <laughs> He's like, all right, we're done. That's it. No more. You're just like, holy fuck, dude. Yeah, that's a good. That's what I That's what I want my eulogy to be. Yeah. When, you, when you give my eulogy, I want it to just be like, all right, that's yeah. it. All right, we're done. That's He's it. Gone. He's out. Dude, he literally, like, he was like a fucking members-only windbreaker, fucking chucked a flower down. <laughs> and, All right, that's it. We're done. <laughs> Bro, so unnecessary. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you. It's not gay. It's fucking, like, wartime stuff, dude. I'm a soldier. Yeah, Taking but... what I can get, dude. I gotta fucking... I gotta get the serotonin <laughs> flowing. I gotta look at some fucked up porn. Ah, all right, I'll give you that. There's something, like, I mean, I'll watch... Like, I've, I've watched... Uh... Jesus Christ... My fucking sister listens to this fucking you gotta thing. Forget, you gotta let it go. You have older sisters. That's the thing. I have yeah, younger sisters where so I can be like, shush. Yeah, but they're not listening. Are they? If they did, I'd be like, fucking whatever. If so, Matt's sisters, I want to lay with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. What? I have a girlfriend. <laughs> She's uh, not going to be happy about that. We'll beep that. No, we're just kidding. Yeah, exactly. Clearly just kidding. I don't know them. 
<laughs> what the fuck are you going to say? Let's well, I got to fucking talk to my girlfriend right now. <laughs> you gotta, you're like a worm coming out of the dirt. Uh, right uh, I definitely have to talk to my girlfriend right now because she's listening to this. <laughs> Tell her she's stop. in her car. She's mad. She's driving around in her Honda Accord. She's fucking pissed off right now. She just listen, gave someone the finger at a red listen, light. I was kidding. I was only saying I want to lay with Matt's sisters to bother Matt, to bother gay Matt. I, I'm totally fine with Shane laying with my sisters. <laughs> also, me laying with your sisters and our families joining well, would be fucking sick. Exactly. If he did do it, it'd be strictly if political. If our clans joined? He'd be, it'd be strictly political. So, And also, I am I am polyamorous, so... You are poly. That's Q+. plus. Current bay. You can stay with me. Exactly. Also, I'm going to lay with Matt's sisters. Well, that'll be your second wife. Uh, yeah. You have like your love of your life and like your political wife that you're just establishing like yes. land deals and fucking I'll power. I'll give your parents like a couple barrels of grain. 100%. And a few oxen. Dude, that's fucking way more than my sisters would fetch on the market. <laughs> 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 it's fucking generous. Really? You think your sisters are worth less? If you gave my mom like a barrel of like chlorine for the pool, you could just... I can have the sisters. She'd be like, here's both of them. Package That's deal. She'd sick. sever my sister's marriage and be like, take both, two for one. You might get a fucking cousin out of the deal too. I heard you, you might get a small D's. fucking. You might get a small fucking ginger harem. Uh, you know me. <laughs> you know I got a thing for the gingies. <laughs> Give me the gingies. <laughs> Good God. All right. Well, anyway, yes. Current Bay. I doubt you want to be named <laughs> Bay. <laughs> Not current bay. Sorry, I called you current bay. Oh Jesus man, Christ, dude, you're fucking, dude, the you're, wheels are falling off. You're fucking Listen, swimming upstream. You, this is all a joke. Matt's not really gay. Exactly. Well, Matt probably is gay. I'm not fucking gay. But I definitely am not going to lay with his sisters. All right, it's, it's settled. So but, it's fucking settled. Uh, Land uh, deals are off. There's a lot of acreage involved. <laughs> <laughs> I could get a bunch of acres if I lay with his sisters. <laughs> Hell yeah. Damn, dude. You probably have wolf blankets and shit. Dude, 100%. You got to come to my fucking fur. house, dude. Would we stay in a loft with nothing but fur blankets? 100%. All right. Would there be a, <laughs> would there be an Ajax guarding the door, dude? Dude, Ajax would be standing guard. I need Ajax with a bow guarding the door. <laughs> there's a huge... There's there's bodies of literature preventing you from being punched in the face. Just laws upon laws. Mm-hmm. Where, oh, guess, speaking of, I watched that. Uh, there's a show called Last Chance You. Yeah. And uh, it's about. I don't have. I don't think we have too much time to get into it. But what happened? We it's time. about. Uh, it's about a JUCO, a junior college in East Mississippi, mm-hmm. in Scuba, Mississippi. Cha. And it's about. Uh, so, for the listener out there that doesn't know shit about sports, like your brother Billy. Uh, Damn. He, what, he doesn't know sports. He's what's he do? He's just a little guy. He doesn't know. Yeah, maybe. He's a little sissy, isn't he? <laughs> Your little brother's dude, a little... Dude, he's calling in. I'm letting him call in next episode. He's a little light loafers, He's calling he? in, dude. No, why? He's definitely calling why in. You, you guys got to have it out. <laughs> you guys got to have it out. No, Billy's the man. I was. I told he's you. I was going in. through his Facebook, dude. He's a beast. He's calling in. Billy, you're hot. We're settling this once and for all. I think we just deleted me making fun of him until just now. True. So now I, he knows, I haven't said anything now he knows you're fucking rapping on him, dude. No, it's just it's no, it's just fun <laughs> I to how he deleted that. Yeah, it's fun to rib the fans. True. Uh and Billy's a good fan. Good um boy. he's a loyal fan. Thank you, Billy, <laughs> for being a good fan. I'll sign I'll tell you what, I'll I'll sign something and I'll have your brother give it to you next time he sees you. Damn. So Dude, uh, Billy is fucking lit right now. Yeah, he is. He's, he's, I'm probably actually. What's really funny is I'm probably receiving a Facebook message right now. Probably. No, I mean when he's listening to this in the future. So like Shit. right now he's listening to these words and he's angry and he's sending you and he's sending me a message right now calling me gay. Damn. Yeah. How about that? That's fucking butterfly yeah, effect. Shit. Butterfly effect. Just because I call Billy fucking gay. You're the coach. I am coach. You are the coach, dude. Fucking You're gonna coach. wake up in a wheelchair tomorrow. Like, what happened? What did I do? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> huge. Jesus Christ. He's fat too now. He's got these big ass bitch hips. It's pretty great. That is. Tight. Zeus has to be up there too, doesn't he? Zeus is. They're probably like Zeus is probably like one thirty. Yeah, you guys got yeah, a he's, good two hundred sixty yeah, pound dog going yeah, on over there. He's a he's a purebred German Shepherd, white German Shepherd. He yeah, looks. He's bull. fucking crazy. One time he caught a bird when we were. It was great. We were. Uh, at the beach this summer with my family, and we were on the pool. It was a nice time mm-hmm. drinking. We we're like, eh, this is. It was the first time the whole trip that it was actually fun because it was just my family. Yeah, that sucks. You guys Oof. Were fighting. 
just my yeah fights the whole fucking time yeah. it's like what do i want to fucking hang out with you guys <laughs> the only time a beach trip is fun is if you go with friends or yeah. like cousins yeah, yeah yeah not just your immediate family that yeah. kind of sucks yeah. well you have three brothers so that'd be yeah. fun but that'd be tight. i have two sisters and my fucking girlfriend there. It was ah, like, eh. man, dude. Let's go on that bike ride and get saltwater oh. taffies. I'm like, I'm going to stay in the house. I'm going to sit in the air conditioning. This is retarded. Yeah, this is, fuck anyway, that. so we're all having fun in the pool. <laughs> and then this fucking bird swoops too low. Flying mid flight, this fucking German Shepherd jumps in the air and snatched a bird out of the air. Fuck. Nice. And killed it. And <laughs> I just heard my mom like, ah! <laughs> I was in the pool like, what the fuck is going on? I look up, he's ripping a bird in half. Holy it's like, holy fuck. shit. Wait, what kind dude? of bird was it? Seagull? No, it was just a bird. I don't oh, know, like a fucking holy. sparrow. That would be funny. It was on big dogs, no, seagulls. No, no. You see that? Dude, you too. ever see a dead seagull? Mm-hmm. They're fucking huge. Yeah, yeah they are big. Killed a few like chickens. In my yeah, time. man. Do you kids? How'd you kill a seagull? Uh, Three man slingshot and uh, rocks. <laughs> just throwing rocks. Nice. <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. My cousin, I mean, it's been a while with since I'm fucking born. Yeah, so, true that. You got you, know, you got at least have a couple them, bodies under your belt, dude. <laughs> my cousin killed a gull. You ever do the Alka Seltzer? Yeah, we used to work? give it to them. I it's hard I, to track I, them. Yeah, you know they don't I mean? really. People are like, yeah, they're try. They don't really go down for it. Yeah, I mean, they go down for literally like shit on a beach. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. for that, it's like I no, don't know. We were my cousin. We were throwing it bread, and my cousin sat off the top of a deck with a base with a not a baseball bat, a wiffle ball bat. So okay. they swooped down for the bread, and my cousin just connected it right in his chest. Jesus and just like, Christ, yeah, that's, fell dead. That's dude. terrible. It was fucked up for sure, but yeah. yeah. No, that's terrible. I, I think we're like trying that. to give him alcohol seltzer. It wasn't taken, so he's like, throw up a piece of bread. I'll hit it with this bat. And we're like, all right, dude, fucking do it. <laughs> I mean, that's funny. It'd probably be funny. Because <laughs> like I was like, no way it's dead. I went down and touched its wings. And it was just, dude. I'm Damn. like, oh, my God, this thing's fucking huge. And it was just dead as a fucking door. Oh, uh, poor guy. <laughs> hey. He just Randy Johnson's this thing. <laughs> yeah, that's great. He's just, he fucking crushed it. He just McGuire to seagull with a wiffle ball bat. It was like, <laughs> plink. And it just went, Bruh. <laughs> like, Damn, with a wiffle ball bat yeah. too. That must have been a decent cut, right to the chest. Like, he probably stopped his fucking heart, the dude. Bat right in meat. the fucking seagull heart. Yeah. Anyway, that's how you kill a goal. We used to actually go on the beach, and their his parents rented a house literally on the beach, and we used to get the same thing: three men slingshot, oh, yeah. water balloons in it, and sit back at our deck. Fly them onto the beach and have someone just everyone to take turns standing there watching him. Like, like, oh my god, this fucking hits so hard. Yeah, it's hilarious. So funny. When you're a kid, you don't think how far this thing's gonna go, and then the first couple like successfully dude. launched, you're like, holy those shit, things, those things should be illegal. Oh, absolutely. We were launching water balloons, dude. Imagine you're yeah. having a nice day with your family and all of a sudden, <laughs> and it's totally slapped. And then you just have some. We would just walk off the beach like someone's coming. Someone's coming. You just put it away and just sit on the deck and you're just like, you ever have it explode because you filled it up too much? Fuck yeah, dude. Because then you're like, come on. <laughs> it's the worst. That, I talked about this before on the cast when we bombed the trolley with like <laughs> fruit and stuff. I had to have talked about this. I don't recall. So we used to go down to Ocean City and there's a trolley that runs around Ocean City, which is, you know, picks everyone Ocean up. Ocean City, at, Jersey? Or Maryland? Yeah, Ocean City, New okay. Jersey. And there's a trolley that picks people up. It might even be like a little bus, but it has like open windows and everything and it's like nice for the summertime. And you can take it, it runs all along the boardwalk. So the one time we pelted it with like tomatoes and eggs and shit when everyone was standing on there and like that wasn't enough because we would like wave it down to come stop and get us then a bunch of us would come out like, <laughs> so we put my cousin my cousin was like I'll ride it and then catch it on the next street and bomb it with eggs <laughs> <laughs> we fucking bombed it and my cousin everyone was all fired up my cousin was like come on let's go get them I think I know where they are and no one followed him off the bus and he just ran and caught up with us he's like dude they wouldn't fucking come with me oh he was trying to get the he people. was trying to lure people to come onto the beach with us we're all gonna be like yeah fuck you but like he was like they started coming off and they like were like yeah nah fuck that come on guys I think I know where they are it's like oh this guy's gonna rape us yeah. <laughs> this guy's trying to rape us this guy to op- when, like, I was like yo who'd you hit and like I hit the guy with the earring like yeah I aim for him too everyone just threw it the same fucking guy <laughs> My dad cut his... Shout out, Shaner. I forgot about this. My dad cut his finger today, cutting open an orange. For some reason, he took a razor blade to an orange and fucking cut his finger, so he needs stitches. And then they're like, you need stitches. He's like, whatever, I'm going to eat my orange. And he tried to eat the orange. He started choking. My brother had a hind leg. (laughs) Shout out to him, dude. He's fucking dumbass. He's making a run to be a stooge. Yeah. (laughs) He's the new fucking stooge, dude. It runs a family. Would you? Would you cut oh, your yeah. hand open? He cut, cut his hand, my hand open, open with a knife. Cut... Opening knives. Yeah. That was fucking. Oh, I was fucked up. I was opening a knife set. <laughs> I called my dad today. I was like, "Yo, I heard you're having a shitty day," and he was like, Ugh. "I was telling him, I'm like, dude, I just got feeling back in my left finger." And he was like, "How'd you cut your finger?" And I was like, 
Opening a knife set with another knife. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it was not. You were opening up knives and you cut your hand. I just remember you're like, you're like, ah, dude, that's going to need stitches, dude. And I looked in the kitchen and it was a fucking bloodbath. Well, he was, was bleeding everywhere and he like stared at me and I was like, relax, it's okay. Well, I did a laugh. I did a quick, yeah, like, yeah, a yeah, panic you, laugh of like, ah. He bled everywhere in the kitchen. And I was like, put it over the sink. You're all right. You're all right. <laughs> I needed that, dude. I was fucking... It was so much blood that I was like, this is enough blood to pass out. And then as soon as Shane was like, no, you're fine. Put it over the sink. I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> that was two times I saved you in the kitchen. Yeah, the, the other, other time... there was a fire. The other time I almost, <laughs> I almost blew us up. I was making a little... I had a little bit of an evil fucking hash tincture with some green oh, alcohol. Oh, right, yeah. Dropped it over an open flame. That I got a little off-flambe <laughs> action, dude. I was like, holy shit. Dropped the thing. Shane's like, throw it outside. <laughs> All right, you weren't the only one. I came home at 2 in the morning to just a flame about two feet high on the stove. And I walked in. I was like, well, this is nice. And I just texted the house chat. I was like, hey, anybody using the stove? <laughs> of course, the wood. Oh, dude, I leave that on? I was like, first off. You hit the stove uh, <laughs> like three months ago. <laughs> me? Yeah, I came home after you probably like – were you with me when I, we came home? <laughs> I think so, yeah. I came home probably like 30 minutes after you. And you had gone to get a beer out of the fridge and must have bumped into oh, the stove. Oh, hit it. Accidentally hit yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then I came back to your room and I was like, are you fucking – using the stove and you're like no <laughs> and i was like all right well you're the only one here it definitely this thing is just turned on <laughs> the other day what a, i think i opened the microwave here and just saw like fries just chilling oh, the microwave yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm like dude this is definitely like, this, this is a late is... night beezer mission dude <laughs> so no like, that's not aborted, me aborted the half-eaten pizza <laughs> just like, ah, maybe it was. it was either you or kyla <laughs> more than likely it was her uh, I mean, well if okani was home it'd be him oh never mind yeah it's okay i remember that the old house is coming down to this like a fucking like aborted pizza in the oven like oh, it's an aborted pizza mission by the Beezer dude <laughs> just like a charred fucking Elio's <laughs> I used to do it with potatoes I used to cook potato baked potatoes be like oh they're done and then I would shut the oven back and forget about it oh yeah you used to blow up or... potatoes all the time cause you get texts like fuck dude I left my pots in the oven and I'd open up like nah they're gone dude my potatoes, you gotta let them go I would leave potatoes on and fall asleep and they would just explode in the oven <laughs> I don't know how we didn't burn down dude I'm fucking no man left behind when I'm making food yeah i'm, I'm standing by the oven <laughs> chopping my feet dude. I'll, oh. like, I'll like make soup and not even boil it at all <laughs> pour it in be like it's warm it's good fuck yeah i'm eating yeah i get really i get really anxious about that if i'm drinking and i come home and try and make snacks i have to use an oven or just yeah the stove top i i I should not be allowed around that. I get bored. I'll be like, ah, fuck this. I'll well, just go The best upstairs. is when Wood banished himself to the microwave. <laughs> All the time. I remember being like, dude, why use the microwave? He's like, it's a deal I made with myself. I'm only going to use the microwave because I don't trust myself anymore. <laughs> it's the fucking best. <laughs> you know, he imposed a ban on flamed fucking view of, of using gas appliances. He banned himself. He just, was so bad oh, at the stove. How about this? So uh, just last week, I think it was, we were we were talking about this, and I was like, you know what? what I was, I was kind of an asshole towards you about the spoons because we lost spoons. Oh, we lost yeah. spoons mm -hmm. out of our silverware, like to the point where by the end of the year last year, we were, we had no fucking spoons. There was like mm -hmm. maybe four, dude. And I was like, we all knew it was like Woods losing these. He's taking them to work and losing these. <laughs> I'd be like, stop taking spoons work. He'd be like, I'm not taking them to work, dude. Fuck you. I'd be like, you're, you are. Or you're just throwing them out. You're the only one that's doing this. And he's like, no, I'm not. So then the other night at the bar, I was like, yeah, my bad about that. If you're saying it wasn't you, it wasn't you. And then whoever he was with, it was either Shane or Blizz, was like, dude, I got into his car once, and there was like 12 bowls, <laughs> all with spoons in them. I was like, you fucking asshole. <laughs> you're going to let me apologize. The best, the best is when the one day I go in, I open up the fridge, and there's just dirty dishes in the fridge. And I'm uh, like, I'm like uh, what the fuck is this? And I'm like, bro, why would you put dirty Tupperware? He's like, I was going to get it later. <laughs> If <laughs> there's just nothing on them, it's just oh, the funniest dirty thing is that dishes. all my beefs with wood were my ex wife's beefs with me. It was the same thing <laughs> of me just being like, if someone being like, you didn't quite wash the dishes enough. And I'd be like, shut up, dude. Fucking whatever, dude. And I was just totally wrong. I'd be like, fuck off. Dude. Yeah, but I bet you weren't that. I bet you weren't putting them in the fridge. No, but I was taking spoons and silverware to work and just. I would be like, I'm not watching this and fucking just throwing it out. And I'd be like, okay, let's do a fucking <laughs> somewhere. Who brought the bag of utensils? I did. That was yours. From I Amazon. remember that bag. It was, that was huge. I was yeah. like, all right, we don't need all yeah. this shit. The little that I know. Yeah, that was <laughs> when my grandma moved into my parents' house. Oh, okay. Really? She got her silverware. 
And then Wood threw it out. (laughs) Wait, is that your the one that's living? Yeah. Because I know your other one died. The other one died a long time ago. I was like three when she died. Mm. Damn. So you are stealing from her. Oh wait, that's your no. grandma. That's or aunt that's Dude. accusing of stealing. Yeah, my aunt's fucking. My aunt's wild. My mom's aunt's wild. I was talking to a lady who cut my hair today, and I was like, so "How's your mom doing?" She's like, "She died two years ago." Remember? And I was like, "Ah, yeah." I'm sorry about that. Sorry what? to bring that up. She was like, <laughs> "Yeah, remember? Like you met her, and then I told you she, she had ever had the funeral." Like, yeah, that's right. I don't think you told me though. She's like, "No, I told you." I was like, "Ah, how'd she die? <laughs> Cancer, I think, or something." Sick. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I mean, she she doesn't give a shit. She was like, yeah, yeah. She's like, whatever, whatever. But it was just funny. I was like, how's your mom doing? She's like, she died two years ago. She's remember, fucking dead. Remember, I told you she, when she was sick. I was like, ah, yeah. There's no way out of that. It's like, sorry about that. Like, did you? Really sorry to hear that. She's yeah, like, yeah. no, I, I told you this. And I was like, I don't think you did. <laughs> did you give the O? Oh, oh, that's right. No, or, I was just, oh, just I, I just stuck it. to it. Like, yeah. I, I don't think you told me. So like, I did, and I was like, ah. yeah, you gotta ride that out. 